good morning, ladies. How are you today? Good morning. Good. How are you? I am fantastic. Well, thank you for the show. I've seen half of it, and it is freaking awesome. I really, really love it. Thank you. Uh, so, oh, you know, you're so welcome, and and we're enjoying it here in in Canada. I'm calling uh, from Toronto, so we get it here as well. Um, Jamie, let's just start with you because this is kind of semi autobiographical. Tell us a little bit about how it all came together. This is inspired by my true life experience stumbling into the Renaissance Festival and then staying for a very long time. Um, it is actually, now I did not have the runaway bride calamity that our runaway bride has on, on our, our show, um, but I did escape an, a lifestyle. Um, I, I thought I was just sort of doing a conventional like college, kids, live in the town where you grew up uh, sort of life, which was was kind of expected of me. and. I thought, I'll do something crazy. I'll work uh, for a summer stock theater. And I wound up working at a Renaissance festival thinking it was Shakespeare in the park. And it was not. It was, uh, no, it was not. It was a whole other lifestyle full of um, amazing, warm, crazy, weird people who were the best people I have ever met. Now, uh, Georgia, for you, first off, I got to know what your initial reaction was to this and, and you know, embracing yourself into this world. And of course, having Jamie with you to, you know, to guide you along. But did you ever, you know, what did you learn about this culture? About the culture of the Renaissance Fair? Yeah. I yeah. mean, everything I could possibly. I had, uh, I had this book that Jamie had recommended <laughs> to me called Well Met which was about the history of the Renaissance Fair and, and how it came to be and the language and Started everything the about it. Started counterculture movement. So, so fascinating. Yeah. Um, so I had that and I had a lot of research that Jamie gave me and my own research. And then I landed in Hollywood and then I had two days and then I was on set. So, um, But I think that because of the amazing artists that worked on the show in the set and the costumes and the characters and in the script and from Jamie's experience, the, the spirit of the Renaissance Festival permeated our set. And that was obvious to me when I visited the actual Renaissance Festival for the first time uh, last month with Jamie. <laughs> it was exactly like the set they had she created. She really had the greatest naivete, wide-eyed spirit that we were looking for <laughs> in, in, in Amanda <laughs> because no. Amanda, the character, has never been to a fair, and she's never really actually been in such a kind, open, non-judgmental community. Mm. So for George to really not have a ton of experience was kind of perfect for us, Yeah, for her to come yeah. in and yeah. be blown away by it. I can just imagine, and what is it like, you know, first of all, doing Shakespeare anyway is difficult as it is. It's the hard, one of the hardest things I would think as an actor to, to perform. But what was it like, you know, in this experience doing it? And also, you know, putting on those costumes has got to really put you in the mood. Well, it was so fun to watch the actors like George and the rest of the ensemble basically play dress up within yeah. the dress up yeah. land of TV. So, I mean, it's fun to have a, a play within a play and a yeah. show within a show. And so watching them like get into these corsets and these beautiful colors and this messy world because as as beautiful and refined as the queen and everything else are you're still in the open air so it's this incredible experience and a mix of highbrow and lowbrow it was really fun to watch oh my god yeah and those costumes like oh getting in god. that costume is the cherry on top of an acting cake <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could just imagine. What's it like, you know, pulling up that corset and just ugh, making it so tight? I mean, they're very, they're a little tight, but boy, are they flattering. Oh yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing one underneath my yes, clothes so right now. Yeah. Renaissance spanks, oh. the corset. <laughs> yeah, it's now an accessory that has to be worn every single day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah. a lot. It's a, it's a big ask. <laughs> And let's just talk about the cast because um, I'm a personal huge fan of Lucas Neff. I just oh. loved him on on Raising Hope. He is hilarious. What's it like to work with somebody like him? I mean, oh, he's he's a he's a gem. He would give me so many little like things of advice and uh, ways to be how to how to. He actually really helped me be the lead in this show. I don't think I could have done it without him or, or, or Mary or Shauna or the other cast members, but because Lucas was so close to me and, and on set and all the time, we had a lot of scenes together. He was just, his work ethic He's was inspiring. Also easy on the eye, <laughs> ladies. Um, yeah. that's, well, that's how it works in Hollywood now. We're allowed to harass men. <laughs> 
Um, he is he is such a, a, lo a lovely, <laughs> sweet human being. I mean, he's a professional. He's been doing this for a really long time. Mm. But he brought something so new and fresh mm. to the character that we haven't seen him do before. Just yeah. this, like, fun, sm smug guy with a little sparkle in his eye. I yeah. mean, it's really fun to watch. He, he really let me, like, help me feel free to do... To, to give myself permission to be my character. Um, he'd always say, don't ask, just apologize. I mean, I know I shouldn't <laughs> say this, but there's amazing chemistry between them. They, <laughs> they both have significant others, but man, it, it works. They're good, they're good actors. They're good actors, exactly. That's what it's all about. We believe the chemistry. That's what. That's all you want. Um, Jamie, i got to ask you really quickly. I mean, of course, uh, Genji Cohen is also a producer on this, who, of course, you've worked with on Glow and Orange is the New Black. But on those shows, those are Netflix shows, and you can just do what you want, say what you want. There's no kind of uh, inhibitions. When you bring it to Lifetime, do you find that you have to dial it back a little bit or no? You know, we told the story that we wanted to tell, and I can only think of a couple of times we fought for really hard for a four-letter word here and there, which is really not the biggest argument in the world. Who cares? If you lose it, you lose it. Um, and the nice thing is that, you know, Lifetime's taken some real chances with their programming. You know, they did Unreal. They had You. So they are actually really on the cutting edge in a lot of ways. You know, they do some very interesting stuff and take a lot of chances. And I don't feel like we had to sacrifice anything artistically to be on Lifetime. And we get the benefit of a wider broadcast audience for people who don't necessarily tap into the streamers. So for us, it's been a really amazing experience working with Lifetime. You get a little bit of a, a Netflix flavor on Lifetime. That's amazing. Yeah. No, I listen, you got to go with the times and it's it's great that you've got that uh, opportunity with Lifetime. Well, guys, this is really, really a lot of fun. Uh, I know Canadians are, are, are already eating it up. It's fantastic. It so and, um, you know, I just hope it brings an awareness. Maybe we'll have more Renaissance fairs, listen, you know, yeah. coming to different cities. I hope so. I mean, they are, you can pretty much find a Renaissance festival outside of every major metropolitan area in America. And I'm pretty sure there's a, quite a bunch in Canada. And you definitely have the yes. Stratford Festival, which always has great mm -hmm. Shakespeare shows. So you should definitely go to that this summer. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, you guys. Come to Toronto, visit us, and uh, bring the fair with you, and, and we'll all get dressed up together in our courses. Thank okay? you for Thank the kids you. in the hall. <laughs> okay, take care. Bye-bye.